Okay, we should be good to go. Recording is going. Sounds good. Um, yeah. Toward purchasing a sickle <laughs> oh. of hot chocolate. <laughs> Generally doing well in the game. <laughs> I've seen this one before and it's still funny. <laughs> Dude, I, I love all of these. This might this honestly might be the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> make it please please make it so Yes. Actually do the Braves probably gonna die. Or almost die. You know, I haven't like uploaded the, you know the last twenty eight chapters. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I might as well not be. But I could probably do that for the chapter where you almost actually die. <laughs> oh sorry, spoiler if you look at the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're listening to this episode, you're well past it now, aren't you? Grace <laughs> probably going to almost die in the next chapter. The like thumbnail for each point one, the, the beginning oh, video wondering? for each chapter. Yeah, he's probably gonna die. He's probably is, gonna die. He's is probably this gonna the chapter die, yeah. where he dies? If not, it's the next <laughs> one. I'm just saying we should have an offshoot at some point where everyone takes one turn to try and wound him as close as they can to <laughs> one point. And then just the whole time, Ari is healing him, so it's kind of just roulette. <laughs> <laughs> I get him down to like five, and then Ken doubles down and uses his hammer. And he, he just goes negative 10 health. Like, oh, I guess I win. <laughs> I get to level six, have my extra attack, hit him twice with the sword, and then use healing word to... My bonus action. <laughs> it's cheating, but I'll accept it because that is the point. <laughs> so, does anybody want to do a recap? Yes, please. Okay, then Ken, recap us. <laughs> oh boy. Realize Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can his story, can his retelling be really skewed because he was shit faced? <laughs> we need to do it from Torin's point of view, from what he remembers before you blacked out. Tor Torin's POV so, with the accent. The, 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 there was this Nothic, I think, and uh, he uh, he freaking loved marshmallows. <laughs> <clears throat> He's, Sorry, he's, I had to drink some more of my hot chocolate, which I legitimately do have next to me. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. There was a Nothic? I'm just <laughs> dropping... Two sessions ago. I'm, I'm trying to remember what happened. There was a party, and you got shit-faced. <laughs> there was a massive party, and I don't remember anything. Okay, somebody who does remember one of you, recap? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so we woke up the next morning, uh, we were in the hotel, and we came down the stairs, uh, Torn and myself, to a raucous applause, because the whole town was in the mm, tavern, in whatever you want to call it at that point, um, just, they were really happy, we, we done killed them all, and, uh, Yolwar left, so they were, they were pretty happy, and... <clears throat> They were, like, having a feast and just a party that was, I think, was supposed to go on for, like, what, two, three days or something? They're farm folk, something whatever. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, some goblins came into town, took a chick hostage, and we fought her off. Uh, we met this cool bard. Um, and then Torin went back to the hotel and started buying as much beer as he could. And uh, I think so. <clears throat> if you remember the previous chapters, then uh, we, we already have a little bit of a little bit of a preview into what that looks like because apparently the last bar refused to let him drink um yeah yeah he he got real good drunk and um i i we tried to take his weapons and then we did because the bard was very charismatic because a drunken dwarf is does not do well against being charmed um but then he called the weapons back into his hand and we were very concerned. Uh, he almost landed on me. Uh, she tried to put him to sleep and pretty much missed and hit five other people. Um, <laughs> yeah. <You> we... <laughs> anyway. And then Brave built an Ewok trap because he and I decided to go hunting after the dwarf black at, blacked out and went to bed. Um, and we met an owlbear and that was fun. And his trap didn't work, shockingly. And then we all went home 
and that was pretty much where it ended. Hey, it's not my fault traps don't work when you don't add a trigger or bait to them. I mean, who would Or have use a trap that would keep the animal, you know, decent. Like, I don't know, meat and fur is nice to actually be able to scavenge from the dead body. Not this yeah, but, muddy pulp. But, but, but that's the cool. Story, the, the story is much more where you want to be. Like, don't you want to be able to tell your kids the story of how you captured an animal by completely pulverizing it? No. I think you're missing the point. I probably am, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's kind of proven that Braid's a bit of an idiot, so... Fair enough. Or, at least a sarcastic idiot. When he actually talks. Fair point. Yeah, okay. So you guys wake up the next morning. The... the... The town is still kind of uh, in in festival mode. I mean, the festival hasn't quite kicked up for the day yet, but um, there's stuff still outside. So, all right, uh, Brave gets up and, jeez, uh, I don't know, like walks around the town and uh, observes the festival stuff just still out from the last night. Okay, so uh, what what all did I miss? Uh, my, uh, my family wait. came in. It was apparently I'm babysitting, but I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna watch a movie in the other room, and I'm going to be in here. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't die. <laughs> what a responsible brother, Uncle. But yes, <laughs> oh, that's so much better. one of them's ten. They'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah. I already Just fed don't them with the knives. inadvertently. <laughs> um, all, all I heard was Brave was walking around town or something. That's literally all. It's the next morning and he's walking around town. That's as great. That. that sounds like the brave thing to do. I didn't miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> so eventful that nice. one. <laughs> nice pun. What pun? Ah. Sounds like the brave thing to do. Oh, that, that actually wasn't a pun, but I did make that pun the other day, and you gave Ken credit for it, and I'm still salty. What pun? <laughs> um, no, 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 dot, no, dot, dot, that, if you're that. brave enough. <laughs> if you're brave enough. Okay, so he's he's just walking around town. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm catching up on the memes and <laughs> me trying to be funny, making a joke about Brave dying. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, that feedback is definitely there. Yeah. Okay. Who else is doing things? Um. Is is torn awake yet and is well not hung over or at least um, somewhat sober. <laughs> Torin is awake by now. How 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 quickly does that leave the system? Because we have training to do. <laughs> I mean I'm probably downstairs getting breakfast real quick, but uh if you need pointers on how to hold that shield, I'm than happy to give some free is um is your character proficient in it absolutely okay because that's that's really the only requirement um so yeah so i'm gonna go talk to Torin or knock on his door see if he's up there because i'm not down there yet all right knock knock <laughs> yeah Torin. Torin's fine Torin's not hungover <laughs> knock knock he says <laughs> who's there it's so I'm sorry, <laughs> I'd answer if I was brave enough. <sighs> One thousand percent uh, death for all of you. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright. Uh are you uh, ready for the training uh, montage? <laughs> let's do that training montage, my dude. <laughs> Alright, so 
Um, the two of us are gonna head Four downstairs. Four-hour training montage. Um, yeah. So, yeah. so we're gonna head downstairs, and we're gonna come across. Like, I, I don't remember. Her name. Name's Aslan. Name's Taurus. <laughs> I do remember your name there, Taurus. <laughs> I don't remember much. <laughs> I'm gonna murder my family. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, laughing about murder. Yay. Get out of my room for the 20th time. <laughs> it's the only rule. <laughs> okay, so we're going downstairs and we're gonna do a montage out in the field somewhere and we're gonna come across. Um, Aislinn, and say hello, because I'm polite, even though I have very low charisma. I have manners and shit. That's okay. <laughs> hello! <laughs> I don't talk like that, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kyle learns manners from Torin. <laughs> ha, name's Kyle. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, uh, Aislinn. We met before yesterday. Yeah, I, uh, sorry, we, we really didn't get to introduce ourselves very well last night. What with the, uh, fight and which, and that was all fun. And then, yeah, you, you kind of, I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you for babysitting the midget who's five foot five. Torn, like, bumps in real quick. Wait, wait, there was a fight? No, no. Well, you tried to fight a wall, but <laughs> the wall <Did> won. <laughs> Wait, what? Don't the worry about won. it. The wall won. I, I lost against a wall. <laughs> I stand by what I said. I am very sorry for last night. <laughs> He's, we we haven't known each other very long, and the the. The other two and myself, I mean, but we've we've learned very quickly that um, that's something we should avoid. But he kind of got back to he kind of got back here before we did, and there was that's all right. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was terribly amusing. I, in hindsight, I'm just glad I didn't get crushed by 300 pounds of midget. Man, <laughs> I keep I, sorry. That's like. <laughs> I keep wanting to say that, but I keep forgetting that he's five and a half feet tall. He's literally taller than me. <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> this dwarf That's is okay. taller It's okay, than Ken's not that tall in person. <laughs> he's only like an inch or two shorter than me. I don't want to slap you. <laughs> I'm no six foot, it's okay. I can make short people jokes. Hike out into the snow in the Boise or wherever the heck you're at. Walk into your bedroom while you're trying to sleep. Grab you and slap you so hard. <laughs> That's hot. And then walk back. <laughs> I'm like standing up, puffing up my chest and everything. Kirsty, settle him Kirstie, down. Can you confirm? <laughs> He's your problem now. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah, so uh, we're we're gonna go do some training because I picked up a shield and I as you Either already jested. Yes, as you already jested, I am new. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but if you'd care to join us, or if you have anything else going on, I mean, you can feel free to follow. If you have nothing to do. Well, uh, party doesn't really get into little later in the morning or afternoon so <clears throat> that's not the accent so i suppose i'm rather free this morning i wouldn't mind joining you boys get a little morning exercise in and uh probably use a couple of pointers with that shield <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's all right we all have to start somewhere yeah something like that um Fighting wasn't really one of my more direct um, experiences in life. I, I was more of a... <clears throat> I evaded fights, <clears throat> let's say. 
Well, you know, nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm always the same. I like to be a little bit farther back from the action and uh, last people from distance. Yeah, um, my my approach was kind of <clears throat> a little bit more indirect. It's kind of, you know, you don't have to worry about fights if they're not awake. <laughs> You're going to be like, Anywho. <laughs> um, uh, you come in, Doran? No, I get to take it. What? what? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so you guys are going to go train? Yep. We're, we're just going to go do that now. Bye. <clears throat> do, 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 do. <laughs> Training montage four <laughs> hours later. <laughs> yeah. All right, so take your elbow up and uh, you know what? No, no, not like that. Hold it more like this and plant your feet. Plant your feet. I am planting my feet. <laughs> we are in the ground. How much more can it be? <laughs> Tugboat. <laughs> I'm glad somebody else heard that and liked it. Uh, so like this? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It's it's different from before. Okay, well show me again. <laughs> All right, so more like this, and here. See, see the way I'm holding it like that? that I have a wisdom of 16 and intelligence of 14. I'm not as dumb as you think I am. <laughs> it's not about intelligence. <laughs> I was saying that out of character. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so memory and your muscle remember it yet. <laughs> what if people walked around like that? Yeah, I have an intelligence of 20, so screw you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I do know people that walk around like that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've relatively recently uh, described somebody as having a negative charisma modifier. But he thinks he has a <laughs> plus five. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like how the second we talk about someone with a bad charisma, everyone knows who we're talking about. Oh, no, you guys don't know who I'm talking about. Oh, we're, we're not talking about... Huh! Nope. It's it's more of a yeah or something. You are wrong this time. But everyone knows that person. It doesn't right. have to be the same person, but everyone knows. The person. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> training montage. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. What happens to Brave? I don't know. Brave. What did happen brave. to Brave? <laughs> the narrator screamed into the sky. <laughs> I think he's dead. Brave's actually dead this time. <laughs> he's... Oh, hey! Hi! Oh. <laughs> he's alive. It's okay, Ari used healing word. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, where is Brave? Yes, where is Brave? <laughs> What has Brave been doing this morning? And you're just quiet. I have no idea how I muted myself. <laughs> I mean, Dead. you've been muted for like 10 minutes now. Dead. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I have no idea why this happened. <laughs> I've been commenting this whole time. Just <laughs> into the sky while you guys have been sitting there training. <laughs> All oh, my best comments. <laughs> Damn it. So wait, so if you were muted the whole time, then you did hear all of us, right? Yeah, I heard all of this. Good job. Good job. <laughs> well, you it's we your turn. Right? <laughs> well, as I said to no one, uh, Brave followed you guys along to the training grounds, and uh, <laughs> what's the he was just staring at us through the bushes, <laughs> watching, just watching, contemplating. 
It's like <laughs> Okay, now I'm thinking of like school shooter jokes. Like he's just he's just over there oh. vengeful, just plotting. Oh, wow. He's plotting about all the jokes we made about him almost dying. And he's like, now you'll get to know what it feels like. <laughs> oh, no. he, he like pulls out a cross he pulls out the short bow <laughs> and misses every arrow and <laughs> legit I did write in my character stat that a brave was super unlucky so I have oh, no idea oh. why <laughs> raised village problems can't relate <laughs> oof <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is brave uh, is brave not over that yet? Is he is he not allowed to laugh at that anyway? <laughs> okay, back on back on track. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, uh, yeah. School shooter jokes aside. <laughs> uh, yeah. So brave was uh, apparently with them, just never said anything and just like practiced sword skills while they were. <laughs> He's just he's just striking a tree over there in the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got the dinner. I, I got the wood for our dinner tonight. If you the have firewood. a sparring partner, I can always take a break from that and let the dwarf feel it. Uh, Kyle oh, it's Bird. it's okay. He's just he's a little bit special. <laughs> <laughs> he does this sometimes. <laughs> right, you're the one to be cracking jokes when you can't keep your elbow. Oh. <laughs> How many times have I had to say it? It's so simple. What's your problem? She's right in the <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mom, so are, are we four hours later at this point, or are we, are we still training, or...? Yeah, we'll say it's four hours later. Okay. Perfect. Alright. Ah. Cool. <sighs> Well, what do you guys want to do? Because we can't take the dwarf back home. At least not to the hotel in bars. Um, we probably shouldn't take him to any weapon shops either. Do they yeah. have any weapon shops in this town? No. Um, <clears throat> no, 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 they don't. <clears throat> well, nope. no, that's not true. The blue, the blue lion Shut uh, up. coster. Oh. Okay. We're not supposed to tell people about that. That was, but I I trust her. I guess we weren't. What do you mean we weren't supposed to tell people about that? I've never heard. We that. legitimately like weren't. Well, I don't know if she said it directly, but it was very like a hush hush thing. Like it's not a black market, as Tugboat said, but it's like yeah, we don't do that in this town. So uh, I, I feel like okay. the majority of that conversation was literally in character, as you two were like trying to figure out whether or not you can tell her. <laughs> honestly, really honestly, about market. half of it was until I was giving <laughs> him the backstory. Well, yeah, let's just say that at all was in character. Everything except for mentioning tug boat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'll just replace t the word tugboat with um, uh, Lenin. Uh, Yay notes. <laughs> <laughs> I went back and dug around. I had to fight it. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I well, I trust her. If you guys um, want a reminder, um, you guys did hear about um, right off the druid. Um, the one he's who the lives. one. He knows where Cragmore Castle is. He knows where Cragmore Castle is. Yeah. What was his name? Yeah. Okay. Right off. R e i d o t h. -E Wait, so who's Harbin Wester? That's the town master. Yeah, okay, and who is who is Colleen Alderleaf? Because apparently I didn't put any notes for these. Oh, she's lovely. She's a... If I'm remembering oh, that, correctly, that's right. She's, she's the one who told her, us. Right? Yeah, yeah, she was someone you came across. Right. It's just about everybody <clears throat> around. But... Right. Okay. So Harbin Wester is the town, okay, guy, not right. not the town. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am the land of Harbin Wester. <laughs> yeah. Well, Kyle, uh, if we're looking for something to do, I say we head back to. Uh, uh, we're not hunting again. No, we're not going to go hunting. <laughs> we need to go back to that one town we were at before. Uh, 
Whistlery? One word of hand. Op- yeah, Whistlery. We we must save my family, man. We gotta go there. <laughs> Hi, Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary. Gary. <laughs> we must save my family. You have to, to die, Gary. <laughs> taste my ve- <laughs> my vengeance. How does it taste? It's a choke on my. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say it with a straight face, and I couldn't. <laughs> right. So, um, I haven't been to whisper. I thought one of you had a real dream this morning about the Ciarno fellow. Yeah. That was yeah. Kind of- um. Where where did you say he was headed off to again? He said he was headed off to Prague, which sounds more like a doesn't sound like a normal human thing to name something. It's um, it's it's not. I'm trying to remember. Cragmar, um, remind me that was that was the group the goblins were a part of, right? Yes. Okay, that's. It's because of their teeth. They they file their teeth to be like to be sharp and pointy like crags. Fantastic lore. He's he he goes pretty in depth with it. It's it's actually pretty great. Um I love it. my favorite part. Right, I mean Wait, 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 wait. Me. What what she cut out. I didn't catch what she saw. It said Yeah. Bleh. And and what were we describing? For the second there, because I had no idea what it was. We were talking about the goblins and Kragma Castle. Oh, okay, those goblins. That's yeah, right. those guys. Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> we can go to the castle. Um, if we wanted to, we could go to Whistler Reith and talk to the Hand. Yep, that's the right uh-huh. one. That's the right one. Yep. <laughs> or we can. I just lost, like all of that. Stay and drink shots. <laughs> Kidding, because we have a little child with us who can't handle it. <laughs> now, now, I'm standing right here. Talk about me like I'm not present. <laughs> she winks. <laughs> Let's just be dip- Remind dramatic. Remind me, is oh she is half elf? Okay, never mind. I was I was trying to remember. I I lost everything for almost like a full minute there. She was flirting. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> sure, that's what I was doing. Wasn't just trying to, you know, keep the dwarf from going violent. <laughs> I know. To, you know, keep you from killing each other. Well, I mean, <laughs> he he took <laughs> the wall took him down. <laughs> Yes, All we need to do is find a rock and make him run into it. <laughs> we'll just tell him that the rock hit, insulted his mother. So, are you folks planning on finding the can tell us where Kragma Castle is, or do you want to head back the way you came? We should try and Sounds figure out like... where it is. Well, <clears throat> we already discovered that no one in this town knows where but it sounds like the druid knows these lands well enough that he'd probably know exactly where it is. Right. Then let's go see this druid. Okay. So, um, <coughs> Killeen had told you that he was uh, northeast a little ways. Um, oh, I should bust out the map. She She gestures to one of the roads that leads out of uh, Elder fell and like across the river and all that jazz. Um, and so you guys are able to start heading out that way. Oakley Doakley. Yeah. Uh, can we get a few seconds because, uh, yeah, you, based is... on the Discord, you guys are having tech issues with each other. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm going to pause the recording. Wait. Whoa. Can you guys not hear, or can you guys hear Ken? Ken. I haven't been talking, so. Oh. Okay, I thought that was. Yeah, he's he's been silent for a while. He was just wasn't talking because everyone else was. 
Yeah, there's been something coming through with my like a little bit of background noise, but no actual word. So I wasn't sure if he was trying to talk and being cut off or Yeah. Uh Kirstie's watching T V in the other room, so that might be it. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. I I remembered that he said that she was nearby, so I chalked it up to that. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and start the recording again. Sorry. I didn't pause it yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you well, said wait, and then I didn't, so. <laughs> this is going to be a great edit for you. <laughs> Who says I'm editing this out? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so you know, we were headed northeast, knows right? That we're real people. You know, it'll make us more really. <laughs> uh-huh. They need to know that Bra the person behind Brave isn't just some person who really wants him to die. It's like, no, it's there's a there's a person there. <laughs> Not this little sadist who just keeps trying to kill him very <laughs> subconsciously or whatever. Fuck you, man. I'm no sadist. <laughs> Brave <Brave's laughs> <awesome. laughs> Damn okay. it. I didn't so, say you were. <laughs> so let's see. Um, you guys are able to travel. Images. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You're able to get about six hours of traveling towards the northeast, following, following, mostly following a road. Um, and then it, as you get uh, past a couple of lakes, it kind of diverges into. Uh, more of a trail and uh, you guys are able to still kind of follow it based on where Kelly and Alderleaf had pointed you to um, but as the sun goes down you hear uh, right around the bend you hear uh, some raucous laughing 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 <laughs> uh, some raucous laughing and some music being played and uh, songs being sung and people kind of chanting and cheering. Sounds and... like my kind of scene. Yeah. Um, and as you come around the like the <clears throat> this corner of the trail, it, it, cut, it opens up into a clearing, and <clears throat> surrounding the clearing is a circle of wagons. Um, and inside of the clearing are several small campfires with one large campfire right in the middle. Um, and it it looks like a party. Definitely my kind of scene. Way better than just cutting by ourselves off on the side and nothing attack. Say that again? <laughs> ah, better to count with a large party and a fun-loving group by the looks of it. Than to be, you know, off camping by ourselves and hoping that nothing big wanders through and decides to maul us in our sleep. Sure. Like an owlbear. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's a... Uh... So, uh, as you take guys... lead as we approach. Yeah. Um, roll me a perception check. Her or everyone? Oh. Everyone. Everyone interested. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I was actually going to ask her real quick, um, as we were walking over, if she recognized any of the songs. I feel like I do because that's a natural twenty. <laughs> Damn! I just rolled a natural twenty-two. Jeez. Well, so with my bonus, <laughs> that's a twenty-five. Yeah, I still rolled a twenty-three because I'm a plus seven. <laughs> if it makes anybody feel better, I rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Torin on point. <laughs> Torin ha doesn't see much of anything uh, as as you walk in. It's you know, he he doesn't know much about surface uh, troops, um, and it seems like Ari doesn't really either. Um, but everybody else, as you're walking into the camp, you you spot a couple of uh, that on every wagon. There's a symbol, and you guys pretty instantly recognize that this is um, a traveling, like a performance troupe that Done. are called the Windless. The Windless? 
windless. Without wind. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was um, asking, but then the way you pronounced it the second time really threw me. Yeah. And All right. Sorry. And uh, as you guys are kind of walking in towards the camp, um, one of the one of the guys from one of the outlying fires kind of hops up and comes over and, and to greet you guys, um, and he's just like, "Oh, hello! How are you? How are you, fire travelers, doing?" I'm doing good. Uh, pretty well, man. Quite well yourself? indeed. Thank you very much. Um. So the the guy looks at Aislinn and sees the the loot and kind of cocks his head a little bit and goes, "Sister, how fair the winds!" Only the family's songs fill my sail. Have we found the source of the wind? Ah, oh, the Stormfather's bellows remain out of reach. But you are welcome to our circle any time, sister. Thank you, brother. <laughs> and I, like, reach for classes. So, like, do bards have a form of cant? No. No, but you know. Circus sorry, circus that, circus sorry, I should have specified that was out of character. I, I legitimately yeah, no, didn't I, know. Yeah, no, that's... Circus folk are weird. Okay. Just, um, I was just curious because I yeah. have like not looked at bards at all, honestly. <laughs> no, You're this is all homebrew. Yeah, this is not a mechanic sort of can. I was I was just curious. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they they welcome you into the circle and they they offer you guys dinner and um they show you a spot that uh. Um, you guys can set up your, your tents if you want to. Um, but they seem to have kind of um, a special preference towards Aislinn, uh, inviting her into one of the wagons. Um, and Got a chicka bow -well. not, <laughs> quite, <laughs> not quite what I meant. One of the ladies' wagons. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was definitely thinking thinking funky time at the same time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was watching too much red versus blue. <laughs> <laughs> See now he will stop talking and when he is done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, you're stupid and that's okay. Um, <laughs> you are stupid and that is okay. Yeah. So surrounding you guys is a large camp of performers and um, you know, like fortune tellers, musicians, actors, acrobats. I mean, if if you want a performance done, these these are your people to do it. Um, Pretty much every form of entertainment done. Yeah, pretty much. Are they expensive? They would be very expensive to hire to do a show, yeah. Um, right. But often... Or it's just going to like sit over and watch practice then. Yeah. Um, often what they tend to do is they <coughs> arrive, like as they're traveling around, they arrive into a town and kind of, um, you know, ask to set up shop. And if they're, if they're accepted, um, then they... They set up shop and they typically don't ask for much more than, you know, some basic supply, sorry, basic supplies and uh, food and maybe a little gold, mostly like tip kind of money. Mm -hmm. um, but so this to, is, this is, to, this to commission them for a show would be very expensive. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is literally just the circus. Kind of. Yeah. Pretty Sweet. much. They're, they're, they're a traveling troupe. Traveling hmm. troupe. Yeah. Interesting. Do they have any weapon uh, uh, based people that Torin notices? Like jugglers or something? Sword jugglers. Um, Sword jugglers. Roll, Axe jugglers. Roll a Sword perception swallow. check. Um, that'll be a seven. It's a door. 
Well, yeah, you could you, ask me. Uh, <laughs> since you, I apparently well, see everything. <laughs> looking around, you don't you don't see. Uh, oh, wow. there, there's so much going on that it's really hard for you to to kind of pick out. Because right now, you know, it, it's camp, so they're they're mostly just playing around, but they're they are doing some practicing and working on some finesse of their their trade. And um, but it's there's so much happening that it's really hard for you to pick out what's going on. Finesse, you say? Hmm. You have cool. no idea. No, okay. no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to go uh, look for an acrobat to talk to. Okay, just okay. to go socialize with them. So I'm, I'm gonna go wander around. Sounds good. Um, I'm probably where? going to after I get my stuff settled in, uh, take out my. A couple of instruments, but probably my lute, and uh, go join in with some of the musicians and jam. You know, like we. Oh, now I'm tempted. <laughs> <laughs> which which one do I go do now? <laughs> I'm gonna follow her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really. Um, I don't know if they have spare instruments, but I'm gonna figure it out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, they they'd offer you kind of one of their instruments um until you can kind of prove yourself okay um so yeah i I guess in that case uh roll a performance check both of you um and i'll give i'll give aislin advantage oh so kind of you um what what instrument did they give me? I mean, what instrument did you ask for? I asked for. I asked if they had any uh, viols. Vi- vi- viol. Viol. It's viol? like a violin, but I, I know what it is. I just can't figure out how to pronounce it. Viol. viol. It is viol. Okay, it is viol. Because I'm thinking, I'm like violin, cello. V- 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 <laughs> Yeah, okay. They they have one. Yeah. Okay. To, uh, pure, so if I have proficiency, one that they are comfortable with letting you borrow. Right. Okay. So performance, I don't have any bonus because my charisma is zero, but uh, I'm proficient with it. And so, do I just add my plus two proficiency that I have in general, or? Uh. Yeah. Because yeah. you're playing with a viol, or. Yeah. With a viol. viol yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's a natty nineteen. So I rolled a twenty-one. <laughs> Solid. Um, that's nice. You know. I uh, I've got a twenty-nine. <laughs> well, you're a bard, okay? You're professional. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, boat, I don't know if you've checked your messages yet, but I sent you a picture of my duck. So a picture of your what? I can't believe it happened to us. I, oh, sent you I think she sent that to him directly because the only thing I see is how Kyle manages uh, social reactions. You're no, stupid and that's okay. I, it, hasn't, it hasn't come <laughs> in yet. Uh, all right. Well, let me see if I can uh, get it on the Discord as well. Okay. Uh, oh, are you talking like Facebook? Yeah, I use the fa- Facebook it. Messenger just because my I... phone's... It's all right. I can just Dang. send it to the Discord for everybody. Yeah, there you go. No, that's fine. Um... I my phone's muted right now because my other D and D group is chatting, so uh, I was getting yeah. over it buzzing. Um, like when Ken uses yeah. his phone to audio call. Oof. Hey, that was me. It was Ken too, like the week or two before. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, that's true. Ooh. I actually gave my sister a very similar set of dice in D sixes. Nice. It's it's um, isn't it a great freaking color scheme though? It purple is. Yeah, uh, the great. purple and gold is lovely. Fantastic. I also have a green and gold of similar <clears throat> theme. They're all very important, and you know that's the color of the plaid <laughs> she's got going on. Their family color. Hmm. It seems got it. relevant. Yeah. So, so Aislin does a fair job looking at her loot. Yeah, I mean, Aislin, Aislin is able to jump straight into the ditties that other the other guys are playing. I don't um, even have to take time to tune it. It's already tuned. Just that perfect. 
She tunes it whenever, like she tunes it as we're walking places. Just pretty much. It's such. Uh, it's just such a nice instrument. You just it doesn't ever detune itself. Exactly. Um. So and and then uh, Kyle is able to with some warming up. Uh, he's able to follow along and and play like a basic harmony type deal to the the ditties. He's not able to like play lead and melody, but he's able to play rhythm. I rolled a twenty one uh, though. <laughs> yeah, but you, you're not a bar. We're all. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're all professionals. Here. I know. I know. <laughs> also, how long has it been since you've played a viol? Shh. Before I got kidnapped in the first episode. <laughs> Those are the, that those role, are the, it's like it was yesterday. Those are the BBEG uh, guys. Stop tormenting us. And so threatening. I mean, the purple and blacks <laughs> are real danger. menacing. Those red, one, <laughs> those red ones and the gold ones don't even phase me. Those, those purple ones, though, are just... Uh, it's going to kill... One of those dies is going to kill Brave. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and that's fat. Yeah, no, Brave Can will be fine. you misspelled it? <laughs> My bad. Um So yeah. yeah. And the uh the windless are pretty impressed with uh with how well you're able to play and follow along. Um yeah. Yeah, they're good. They're they are impressed. Hooray! <laughs> Yeah, we did. Yeah, no. We did bad thing. at all. That was fun. So, uh, did you uh, pick up music on your own? I what, I did. Did your yeah. family teach you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, I I taught myself. A lot of a lot of time by myself out in the uh, woods. No one to wow. talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's idiots, and that's okay. <laughs> hey, you wonder why my charisma is so bad. I haven't talked to people. <laughs> and the interactions I have had is either I'm stealing shit from people or watching people get murdered. So. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, I, I taught myself. <laughs> It's actually rather impressive. Thank you. One I... of one of the uh, one of the windless kind of lean in and go. Yes, your ability to learn by yourself is that's very good. It takes many people a lot of years of training to mat, to keep up with us. I definitely can't play the flute. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike well, Brave. <laughs> Wait, Brave plays too? Why haven't joined us? I didn't play anything. <laughs> I was making an innuendo. <laughs> and she was tastefully ignoring it. <laughs> I swear I didn't have anything to drink tonight, I swear. Oh, crap! Was this about the whole Solar thing? What? 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 <laughs> I am connecting way too few dots here. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It had nothing to do with Solaire, but I I don't know how you jumped to that dot. Case. I don't know. I was making a tasteless joke, and somehow you got Solaire, which is which is what ironically makes it funny. <laughs> I don't. Okay, yeah. I I understood the joke right away. I just had no idea what it was in reference to. So I I thought it was about the whole Solaire thing. Yeah. <laughs> what does that have to do with the flute? Solaire is really good with the flute. <laughs> um, let's see. In the let's worst see. kind of way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, no, Solaire actually plays the lyre. I I would imagine he would play a stringed instrument. 
Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah. So we all we all finish playing good instruments and such. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, what a coincidence! I play the lyre too. Is there anything you don't play? Uh, um. Did somebody mention lyre, or did she just say that? So lyre plays the lyre. Oh, sorry. I I didn't yeah. connect that. Yeah, sorry. I, I thought she was making a pun and calling me a liar. <laughs> Which, she wouldn't be wrong, but still. I mean, if she is, she's not going to tell you that. <laughs> I don't know, she seems the bantering type. Sure. But she's not going to confirm or deny whether or not there's a double meaning in both. <laughs> I, I know. I wasn't saying any of this in character. I was trying to understand what was said. Yeah, we got really far off topic here. Yeah, Brave! Uh, Tori, what are you guys doing over there? Uh, I was sitting listening to the music, man. Torin's like, like hippie. Rocks on the ground. Torin's a real sad dwarf. <laughs> no, I just like saw these pebbles and they reminded me of my home. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the cave collapsed. Yeah, if I make that comment, it's racist. <laughs> DM, do I know of anyone in the troop that um, juggles axes? Um, <coughs> axes or axes? No. <laughs> Oh, low. Low? Yeah. There is not anybody in this troop that appears to juggle axes. Alright, fair enough. Oof. I was I hoping I could introduce one of them to uh, entertain the poor, lonely <laughs> dwarf. Yeah. Let you know. No. You know that there are some axe jugglers in windless troops, but there doesn't appear to be one in this troop. Yeah, that's Aww. fair. That's fair. It happens. <clears throat> now I'm sad. I'm trying to think of something for Torn to do. <laughs> um, there's got to be a knife thrower, though, right? There's, like, always a knife thrower. I mean, I could probably practice with Torin. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a dexterity of 20. I don't want you to practice with me. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have apples, right? In between our knives. <laughs> no door. Nice hey, I still have, like, how. Have hold apples. on, how many apples do I still have? <laughs> I have two apples. Oh, <laughs> it's only been like two or three days. They're still good. <sighs> now place this on your head, Tor. <laughs> Throws it into I his foot. You that. missed. Oh, no, I didn't miss. <laughs> I will break my wet floor sign on you. <laughs> well, that's a D4. I mean, I'm not intimidated by it. So it was your, you know. <clears throat> Torin, do you wanna do you wanna go practice throwing knives? You you look real sad. Um. <laughs> I was gonna go look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, right. um, them. I have I have five daggers. <laughs> Lucky for you, I just have one. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't suggesting we throw them at each other, but well, I meant like we look for a tree and we like make a target on the tree. But <laughs> sure, meat shield is cool too. <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, let's uh. Let's let's find a target and I'll throw my uh, hand axe at it. There you go. I already found the target. <laughs> <laughs> and then I throw my hand axe at his foot. <laughs> Maybe that's no. roll. Okay, I already said it. It's gonna happen. Um, ten. Wait, so is that a dex? Is that a dex save for me, or is no. that just a What's flat? Your armor class? Was my armor class is a nineteen? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you didn't hit him. <laughs> How is your armor class nineteen? Because, because it's original. Because he's got a plus five to dexterity. 
I have a plus five dexterity. I so my base is seventeen, and I have a plus two shield. Well, the shield's not plus two. I have a plus two for wearing the shield. I I think you might be counting that wrong, because dang, dude. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's why I was so upset yeah, in the fight with the 7-on-7 seven seven that I got taken down to so freaking low health in, like, one round. Because well, the only thing he could roll was a like, 19 or 20, and he did it twice. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dude. Consecutively. And, and you, yeah, you're wearing, like, splint? No, it's not splint. Um, I'm studded armor. Or studded, studded leather. That's what it is. Which is a, a base of 12 plus your dexterity modifier. He's got a dex mod of 5. Which makes it a base armor of seventeen. So, and then when he's got a shield equipped, it's a nineteen. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Dick, what the hell, in, Torin? In fifth edition, dexterity is the god stat. Like, it's useful for basically everything. That's I'm why just... I wanted to know if I needed to make a dex save because for me, that's a seven. <laughs> yeah. That's um, what you need to know. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, Torin? I, uh, uh... I thought I saw a mouse. A mouse? Turned out it was just... Do, I, does, do either of us need to roll, or can I just flat out call bullshit? Can, can I use minor illusion to make it look like a mouse just ran by his foot? Please sure. do that. <laughs> you can indeed. It's a cantrip, I'll do that. Right. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, so just whisper something under my breath, wiggle oh, my fingers, and um, a mouse is seen running away from near Kyle. Well, there it is, right over there. And I throw my axe at it. No, 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 no. I'm also going to cast Minor Illusion in the form of a snake, and it's going to try to eat the mouse. <laughs> oh, well, since the illusions aren't tactile they don't actually interact so but we yeah. can control them so when he does it i can make it look like <laughs> i mean yeah yeah we could play a game of snake literally <laughs> and, uh, and okay minor so the reason i said that is because i'm curious so if two minor illusions interact what happens do they just sh shift through each other and keep moving or do they yeah. can't like do they just do they both count as touching something and both dissipate? They they would well Let minor know. illusion. I don't think minor illusion moves. Yeah, it does. Uh, it. Minor illusion. Uh, <clears throat> hold on, I have it. Within range, it lasts for the duration. Illusion also. Uh, if you create an image of an object such as a chair, money footprint, or a small chest, it must be no larger than a five foot cube. The image can't create sound, light, smell, or any other sensory. Physical interaction with the image reveals it being an illusion because things can pass through. Um, I mean, it's a cantrip, so I can cast it and keep recasting it. So I it's kind of like true, yeah. animations and like, you know, just doing it. So each time I go and cast it, I'm having a different and so I see the snake illusion going to have my mouse illusion act as though it's being attacked. Fair enough. Play out a little wildlife drum. I hear the <laughs> mouse trying to dodge and then fight back. <laughs> the mouse drops. I, I think at this point we both know that it, the other one's an illusion and we're just playing a game right now. <laughs> it started out with her going like, oh, I have to make this look real because they see the snake pass through. Watching the way the snake interacts. Like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Um, I, I love to think we made eye contact and just kind of did the, like, I see what doing. <laughs> we can see each other moving our fingers and we're just kind of smiling at each other watching the two fight. <laughs> Torin's going to uh, cast Minor Axe Throw. <laughs> <laughs> what are you throwing it at? Do you have mean, at this though? point, I'm about to throw it at both of you, but I'm just going to throw uh, it at you can't Snake tell that I'm that. casting a spell. I'm way too subtle for that. I can see your wiggly fingers. I'm, I don't know. You had a four on your perception earlier. I'm wiggling can, them can roll alternate. an insight check. Yeah. Insight check? Yeah. Natural 20. Oh my gosh! 
I, deception. I call bullshit. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> what did you roll? I rolled a natural 20. I rolled it, I dropped it, I've taken a picture of it, I have not touched it since. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whatever, if he wants to waste those rolls now, he can. Yeah, I mean, what's yeah. your insight modifier? Because I've got a 21 in seven. I think it's a plus one. Okay. I, okay, I so don't I really check now. now because... Okay, remind me, if it meets it, does it beat it? Or does it have to be above? Yeah. Okay. If it meets it, 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 it. Meets, it beats it. So okay. just that's a good just way to remember it. Enough. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, no. For minor, it's the uh, it's an intelligence check, investigation check. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess after after a moment, Torn's able to go. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> it took him a minute, though, is all. <laughs> it's like after like the tenth lunge of the snake at the mouse dodging it, Torin's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did you throw your axe at someone or something? Because you acted like you were going to. I throw my axe at the illusions. Okay. It hits the ground. It goes through them. It doesn't do anything. But they dissipate because uh -huh. it hit him. I just look yeah, over at Torrin. I'm like, well, you're no fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Aislinn just gives a very elaborate curtsy. <laughs> 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 you do need to chill with the meme making, all right? <laughs> Especially because yeah, the two, <laughs> especially you, brave. What? Oh, me? We're talking to me now. <laughs> Sorry, I was asleep for half an hour. <laughs> Shut up! I only muted myself once. <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm going to throw one of my knives <laughs> at Torin's. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like what he would be wearing. <laughs> a loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> you choose in your own fatality. <laughs> Out of boredom, I'm going to um, start playing. Like as I see the tension rising, I'm going to start adjusting the tune I'm playing to feel more like battle music, <laughs> conflict style, and I want to grant both of them inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... I was just gonna okay. I was just gonna throw it at an article of clothing and like pin it to the ground like pant leg or something. I wasn't like gonna go for the face. So, so... the uh, the entire musical portion of the camp that you guys are still right next to starts playing along with Aislinn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if we're not advancing this camp play <laughs> this campaign. I don't care. <laughs> is about having fun and this is clearly what we wanted to do <laughs> all it does is we tell about time to prepare the big bad evil guy <laughs> he's not our problem yet <laughs> not yet anyways all right he might um, be if we but he will be but i'm gonna <laughs> not whenever a threat is is torrin standing like near a tree or anything i am a tree <laughs> what I hold a bush over my head. <laughs> I'm just Dude, thinking, was it the bush or Brave or was you? hiding in earlier? <laughs> yeah. <Soon>. Very soon. <laughs> you guys both have inspiration. So that's a D6 that within the next 10 minutes you can use to add to an ability check attack roll saving throw. Uh, your AC if someone's attacking or your damage if you hit. Say that again. I rolled a 13 for being a bush. I mean, a tree. <laughs> is are there any trees like behind him, like directly or close to? You guys are in the middle of a clearing. Damn it. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm going to throw two knives at him, one in each hand. I'm going to throw him, and I'm going to pin like his pant legs or whatever the equivalent of that would be. I'm going to I'm going to try and pin him by throwing it into the clothing. I catch them. 
What? 19. Okay. Um, oh, that's not how that works. Not monk. <laughs> can that's you not how that can't works. do that? You're not a monk. So... Monks Am I just gonna? Do I just roll for that? a tag, or is it we because it's preci it. precise? I have to roll with dex. Just a sec. Oh, we're back. Hi. Hello. Um, Hello. Uh, so you, since you, I'm throwing the both of those at a very precise location, do I do I need to just do it with strength or dexterity or like do I guess a nothing dexterity else? Or attack with your dexterity? Okay. Um, and then Can Torn, what's your armor class? Uh, thirteen. <laughs> okay. I rolled a seven. Uh, total. Okay. <coughs> and then I rolled a 17 total. Okay. Well, what I... Warren, you can use the inspiration to up you for that second attack. What I what I decided was that because he was trying to pin Torin, like, by his boots or pants or whatever, um, that I was going to take his armor class and add 5 to it. So that actually makes his armor class for this specific thing 18. The, the difficulty for this 18. Never mind, you're fine. So, neither I'm of them. I'm going to hit use him. it. <laughs> I'm going to use my d6. Okay. Can you use your inspiration for the attack? Well, I mean, I was just pinning him to prove a point. <laughs> that you can't throw knives? Good job. Yeah, that's a five, buddy. <laughs> Real impressive. <laughs> No, that's a five out of, on the, out of the inspiration D six. Oh, I thought you were rolling twenty. <laughs> Which puts so it at five. seventeen plus a five, so that's a twenty two, twenty three. Mess off. That's a twenty two, right? Twenty two. The twenty two. <laughs> so I have pinned your that leg to the good. ground, sir. <laughs> Take one that, his... good sir. <laughs> so one of one of his pant legs gets pinned to the ground. Torin, you can make a strength check to try and get free. Strength? Yeah. Uh, I forgot just how muscular. One second. I mean, he's making a strength check. He's probably not going to have an issue. Yeah. Um. That'll be a 15. You're able to, like, you just, like, make eye contact with Kyle and then just pick your foot up and it, it unpins. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Thanks for not putting it through my shin. <laughs> You're welcome. My aim's a little bit better than you think it is. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he lied to himself. <laughs> you know, like a lot. I didn't catch what she said at like all. A like a liar. Oh, okay. That's, that's cute. It's funny. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my my third knife and I'm going to ask you done. <laughs> like, yeah. would you like to go find an actual target to throw these at? Or do you want to keep this? <laughs> I... I... I still have my sickle. Let's go throw it at some. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna go retrieve my knives, and then we're gonna go play coin uh, knife toss with the uh, tree. Sounds okay. good. Tree's real good at catching. <laughs> Poor tree. And my goal today is to break my sickle. Why? <laughs> but why though? You pay Are you that disappointed that. about it? <laughs> I am that disappointed about that. But I made sketches of what you could do. Yeah, you just can't Darth freaking... <laughs> you can't Darth Maul with it. I'm sorry. I wanted to Darth Maul with it. <laughs> I tried to help talk about find a way. It's not possible. It just doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what else are we doing at the camp before it's oh my God. 
I mean, I'm partying with my people. Um, if anyone has a bagpipe, I think eventually I'm going to move on to the bagpipes because I can. I have drum. Yeah, they're, they're able to procure a bagpipe for you. Yeah. It's one of those things because it's such a random instrument. It's fairly rare, so this is mostly her just showing up. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually make this sound good. Oh. Um. But they like showing off, so they are. Yeah, no, it's. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm just going to do that. Mix me with the other musicians. And uh, I guess in the middle of um, playing and stuff, making some small talk, just, you know, finding out what's been going on, if they've heard anything interesting with since the last time she ran with the crew. Missing so much of this because my internet's cutting out. Oh no! She's gonna play an instrument. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. And, and and gossip with the musicians. Ooh, Only musicians the best of gossips. Gossip. I want to find out if there's any interesting information they've come across that they're willing to share. You know, any cool rumors they've heard or whatever. <sighs> Let's see. If Ken wants to, I'm totally cool with like fast forwarding mm -hmm. through the whole we're just killing time throwing knives at a tree. <laughs> I figured that we would. I didn't intend on going back to that. I I didn't either, but then I realized Ken actually might. I throw my sickle. <laughs> okay. Just in general, he just throws it as hard as he can into a bush. <laughs> it's just he throws it into the nearby river. <laughs> he accidentally harvests some yeah. mulberries. <laughs> one of the 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 guys playing like a harpsichord um is like oh actually in the last town that we visited i heard stories of um this specter in in the dividing sea i have no idea he he seems to just go for ships that haven't paid the maiden's toll but uh, that's that's all that I know is no one survives if he attacks a specter you say yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you know the way <laughs> <laughs> do you actually know the way yeah <laughs> can you show me the way <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me. Damn it. <laughs> what if I give you uh one silver? That doesn't even cover the maiden's toll. <laughs> Not very good at bribing. <laughs> Two silver. The maiden's okay, toll fine. is 15 gold pieces. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You're pushing me. Three silver. Or you could leave camp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll give 15 of my gold to learn this information for the rest oh, of the party. That's not what I was saying. I what? I was because you asked if he could take you there, if he could lead the way, and he oh. was. Yeah, so he was like, "No, I'm, I'm not leaving the troop for a one silver." Oh, okay, uh, never mind. Can you give us the information of how to get there? Or no, it's in the Sea of Divide. <laughs> the the Sears of Isle. What? Divide. <laughs> right in between <laughs> the sea that divides Tierra and Magra. Oh, see the divide. Okay. He got lost in right translation. Down. Yeah. <laughs> the boat's really quiet, so I can't. <laughs> it, if you wouldn't then leave the troop for up. just one silver, what would you leave the troop for? Nothing. The troop is my family. Mm. I, like, pull out 20 gold and kind of just, like, fondle it a little bit. There is no amount of money that would make me leave the troop. Not even 20 big ol' shiny boys. 
No. Why don't you guys just ask him how to get there and take notes? That's what I just said. It's the of divide <laughs> in Tirida. <laughs> It's not that fucking hard. <laughs> Talk about I see what you did there. <laughs> I've been thinking that all week. <laughs> You've been like, looking for an opportunity to say it again, haven't you? Yeah. yeah it's basically. not that fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just don't know if I'm brave enough. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad you I came up with that. Of, otherwise, I'll torn yourself or torn you a new one. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna call the session there. No. <laughs> what did yeah. he say? I missed it. I said okay, so we're gonna call. No, the no. Session what did there. he say that oh, prompted that? I'm gonna torn you a new one. Okay, we are going home, people. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Have a nice day. Uh, we're no longer recording sessions from here on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's the one who started it, man. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah. <sighs> so, there's there's a rumor of a specter in the Sea of Divide. Seems to only go after ships that don't pay the Maiden's Toll. The Maiden's hmm. Toll. <laughs> hey, did I, did I? All right, now what? <laughs> uh, oh, no. I'm waiting for you guys. Dan, am yeah. I familiar with the term the maiden's toll? Uh, roll a history check. Okay, cool. Let's do this one. Where is it at again? Oh, wow. The Sea of Divide. <laughs> These... <laughs> I know. <laughs> the sea that divides the two, you know. I, these new dice I was being people. facetious. <laughs> what do you roll? Although I don't uh, see it on the map. Uh, that is Just a kidding. dirty twenty. <laughs> okay. Dirty money. Dirty twenty. So mm. not a natural one, a modified one. Yeah. Uh, so you, the the maiden's toll is a sailor's term, uh, referring to paying like. Tossing an offering of coins into the sea, supposedly it wards off um, bad luck and sea monsters and specters and uh, and the like. And it seems like this time there's actually there actually seems to be a reason to pay the maiden's toll apart from superstition. Does the maiden part come from like a, a female deity with the sea or? Is um, that more of like no one knows where to start? It's possible that it was that it has roots in an older religion, but it is not. Uh, it's it's not distinctly tied to the modern model of Pyrenianism. <clears throat> I also rolled a thirteen total for the history. Do do I know anything else? Uh, with a thirteen, yeah, you've heard the term before. But that's it's something it. that sailors say. Okay. Worth a shot. All right. Well, do you guys want to camp here for the night and we'll head that way in the morning? Or do we still want to... Yeah. Are we Let's still do that. going We're still to find the, the druid. druid, I would... Because we're also looking for the druid. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh... I can see any reason to go Calabasal to find this sea unless you've already come shit and crew. It's like, like she was speaking money. German. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, your accent. I still understood uh, it, but it was, it was still funny. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do understand a handful of languages. German is apparently one of them. <laughs> Even though it doesn't exist in this world. 
That's what you think. <laughs> but Mazza, I was. It's like no, that's that's German. <laughs> I want it. But Mazza, I want it. That's that's not British. Oh <laughs> Bart got paid extra money just to make shut shut up. <laughs> But mother! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it moved me to tears. No. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so. Anyway. Um, I personally think that we've got a better shot for the druid than we do. So no, we should definitely look for the druid. Yeah. So before yeah. you guys before you guys bed down, are you guys like gonna hang around the camp? Uh, are you guys just gonna set up camp and head to bed, or? Uh, um, I was. I, oh. No, you go first. Go ahead. Okay, I, I was gonna say we could set up uh, shifts for uh, who uh, keeps watch during the night, and then we just go off of there. Oh. Well, I mean... The windlass, the windlass have offered what will offer to uh to help you rest your your weary feet. They will actually uh, be doing the night watches. Oh, that's, well, nice. that's nice. That, that's nice. I hope they don't rob us blind. <laughs> Do you say that out loud? <laughs> I did not, but... Okay, because I'm like... <laughs> you you would have gotten kicked out and maybe killed. Oh! You okay. would have started a real big fight. <laughs> okay. Well, I haven't, I, rolled, I haven't rolled stats for them, but there's probably 40 or 50 people here. And you would have made all of them hostile. Uh, yeah, Brave would have been dead. <laughs> Shocker! <laughs> Along with multiple, like, probably level 10 or more bards. Oh, yeah. boy. They I probably would have... <laughs> they <laughs> they would have just... They like, probably wouldn't even play... <laughs> they probably wouldn't even killed him. They would have just played with him like a like a puppet for a really long time. Oh, exactly. No. Like, <laughs> like the level 20 no, no. Don't, don't bother. Like, killing just not even worth it. Instead, let's just, you know, make him... Dance for our entertainment. Dance, monkey, dance! Talk just like Yeah. Oh. Ooh. You, you okay there? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, how are you guys ending the night? Um, Aislinn was hoping to have a Kyle. What was the qu what about? Um, before we had to, Aislinn was gonna see if she could pull Kyle aside. For Hi, name's Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> We've only talked about it briefly. We haven't known each other for that long, obviously, but uh, clearly there's some history between you and this Yarno fellow. Um, you could, you could say that. And you said as much yourself, so it doesn't really need me saying. However, is there something... I hold on, hold on. What? <clears throat> so, if you've got some history, and it's clearly good history, is there things that we should know about going in? Um, he's just, he's very deceiving. Um, he's smarter than he looks, and he's only out for himself, and doesn't care what gets in his way or at what cost. He is truly for himself and whatever has his best interest. Are you okay? Are you dying over there? <laughs> I can cast healing word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, one of the uh, one of the musicians is strangling him. They heard his thoughts. <laughs> one of them's a warlock. They have the text thoughts prepared at all times. 
they just they cast it all the time just whenever <laughs> someone new shows up because you know people are people that come across upon circuses and stuff you know sometimes it's not the circus that's untrustworthy <laughs> Well, you know, people in that lifestyle, they're going to be insightful enough to look at you like, mm, I see the look in his eyes. I bet you I know what, I, what he's thinking. <laughs> Cast the tech thoughts. Oh, look, I was right. He dies now. <laughs> oh, look, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually about how <laughs> he would die. Someone looked at him and he died. I sent that into the wrong chat. I did. I feel so awkward now. I mean, you could still delete it. You also yeah. have typos again. Oh jeez. <laughs> so Ang many Ang Rouge. You like my Inky Rouge? I like your English. <laughs> oh no, he took it down. <laughs> Oh, the angsty. Uh, I, I was laughing at the the U is guy. after the G, not before. Just no, so you know. that's how you spell angsty. The U is after the G in rogue, is what I said. Uh, I kinda <laughs> angsty is it, not spelled with a U, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's okay. He's, he's from one of them country states. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember which country. one. That's how important it is. <laughs> you know, as opposed to all of those other states that aren't in the country. Yeah. But right now, he's over in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean states within the country. I meant one of those country states. States with a lot of countryside. <laughs> we call them farmland areas. <laughs> So, so yeah, so he's he's not that great of a guy, even though he's pretty misleading. Quite charming. He's, I wouldn't even say he's that charming. He's just, he's very clever. <laughs> <laughs> he's very clever with his wording, <laughs> unlike me, clearly. <laughs> it's all about delivery, folks. <laughs> no wonder you got stabbed in the back. <laughs> no wonder you got stabbed repeatedly. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> um, yeah, I that's just like always on edge of about to kill the whole party. <laughs> Dude, one of these days he's gonna do it, man. <laughs> he's gonna be, he's right. gonna show you the definition of a ranger. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna come to the, he's gonna come to the party with a Glock. <clears throat> Plot twist: Brave becomes BBE. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the name of this of the otherworldly being they're trying to summon? Well, I just disconnected yeah, myself for a second there. <laughs> Brave turns into the tangible form of Terran. It's like you will understand what it's like to die repeatedly now. <laughs> he becomes the vessel. <laughs> We're joking about it, but who wants to bet money that in the end it happens? Yo, that's the plot line to my favorite game. <laughs> <sighs> right, so Kyle, you know, if if you think of anything important or helpful, be sure to give us a heads up, eh? Yeah, just don't trust him. Really, nothing much else to say. Oh, don't worry, dear. I don't trust anyone. Welcome to the club, honey. Yeah, but the difference is people trust me. Yep. I don't have to worry about it, though. No, they don't. <laughs> they I usually. said people. Nobody <laughs> trusts a freaking tiefling. <laughs> Are you suggesting the dwarf isn't I don't... people? I don't know. I don't know where, where you thought she's a tiefling. I mentioned she's she a little, said little she was. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> she's a half elf and she's diva. <laughs> Remember, we made a whole joke that. about tifling. <laughs> tifling. Right. And she got upset. <coughs> Are you done? I remember the tieflings. Is he done? I don't know. The little devils. Yes, they're demons. Kind of. 
Well, layman's term. They're demons. <laughs> I mean, kind of. They're they're um, just like Asim are mortals with some sort of angelic type bloodline. Right. To have an infernal type bloodline. Yeah. There's a little bit of the nine mixed in there. <laughs> bloodline there. I I actually I had a feeling that was a <clears throat> cleric or a major mission to like. Uh, make sure everybody knew not all tieflings were bad. Hashtag not all tieflings. Not all tieflings. <laughs> no, his not my was tieflings. Like <laughs> he was probably my favorite character. Aww. I gotta do a one-off. And then he murdered the whole party. <laughs> I I gotta do a one-off with, with him when he was like, uh, I gotta jump him up to like level 15. Ooh, clerics get insane. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. Mm. Clerics are wonderful at high level rogues are hard to hit. <laughs> it's true. And they can negate a lot of damage. Yep. <laughs> I like reliable skills. I hit him. No, you didn't. <laughs> reliable talent overrides natural ones. <coughs> that it is pretty great. It's pretty freaking awesome if you like using ability skills. Anyway. Yeah, just uh, don't trust them. Okay. But that's really the only thing to say there. Don't- Right. Hello? Hello. Can you hear me now? I can't hear you now. Did, did she cut out just for me or was that everyone? What? Uh, what are you doing now? Okay. Sorry. Continue. That's all right. And for the record, she mostly looks like a half elf. The only hint that she's a tiefling is like. Um, Spikies? Just, just some little horns poking up out of her hair. They're so cute. They are. <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> Any home. <laughs> so oh. it's after. So Aislinn will chill and party for a bit, and then she's going to head to bed unless anyone else interrupts her. No. I'm going to go exploring. <clears throat> Damn it, just put the dang gun with through the people's inventories. <laughs> don't do it, bro. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't. Can I roll an insight check to see if I can see in his eyes that this is what he's planning to do? Sure. Cool. Do I have to have it? Is there... Do I roll, roll or does she just... Against it. Okay. I rolled a 16. Total? Yes. <laughs> I don't have a charisma stat. It's a zero. Are you ready for this? I rolled a natural 15, so my insight check is a 22. Whoa! <laughs> then she really won't like me, because I was actually going to go through her belongings. <laughs> okay, so as she's, like, getting ready to, as she's getting ready to head off, she stops, um, kind of... <laughs> Takes uh, Kyle by the arm, leans in, and goes, I know what you're thinking. And this is absolutely the worst place in the world to indulge. (laughs) (laughs) We are in a very delicate situation. And trust is a thing very easily broken. And broken trust has deadly consequences here. Do you understand? <laughs> I just kind of smile. I just kind of, uh, not not sheepishly per se, but just kind of coyly <laughs> smile and say, "Well, curiosity did kill a cat, but it was merely curiosity." If you've got curiosity, try asking questions. I don't tend to trust the answers I find. Nothing personal. Fair enough. But you touch. Anything that doesn't belong to you here, and you'll lose a hand if you're lucky. <laughs> okay, you made your point. Glad I did. Well, sleep well. <laughs> and she's gonna head to bed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> she knew. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of stand there like... I just kind of, <laughs> I'm just going to stand there and I'm like thinking words in my head, like, 
Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> she walks about ten paces away, then stops, turns, just like looks over her shoulder and goes, and don't think so loud. My goodness, I want to get some sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I want to roll against it so that I can keep my wits about me. And I don't know what to roll. <laughs> Wisdom saving throw. <laughs> that, I guess that's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. Wisdom saving throw for like, you know, versus fear, things like that. What, what do I need to beat? Uh, I would say it's not that DC unless you're like, like unless you have something personally that would make you extra prone to this. Probably like a 10, 15 if you think it would be extra difficult for him or extra disconcerting for him. I think it'd be disconcerting because of the extra comment, but thankfully I meet 15. <laughs> Perfect. It's, it's disconcerting, but you're not broken. It's creepy, but eventually I shake it off, and I'm, I'm just going to go wander around for a while longer and just kind of look around before I go to bed. Um, could I yeah. roll for perception just for anything out of the ordinary? Yeah. Which I, I guess is a very <laughs> interesting, <laughs> ironic statement, considering that we're essentially at a circus, Circles but that's not the point. People are weird. <laughs> it's, it's an 18, so... Yeah. So... <laughs> Towards, uh, it, it's in one of the the light of one of the fires that is kind of close to, but isn't quite the center bonfire. Um, you see, kind of a, a older woman. I say that again. I see what. I'm I'm waiting for Colton to be done fucking with his <clears throat> desk. Yeah. Okay. There we go. At least you knew um, I didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you, you see this much older woman, um, and she's, uh, got a handful of something that she's showing to some of the, uh, younger and, like, kids and, and, like, young teenagers of the camp. Okay, um, so she's she's showing them something? Yeah. And she's okay. talking, not in like a hushed voice, <clears throat> but from, from where you first spot her, you can't tell quite what she's saying over the sound of multiple fires between you. Okay, I'm gonna go and, like, not, I'm not gonna go sit down with them, but I'm gonna go kind of stand off to the side from the group of kids. Okay. Um, so, as you approach... She is showing them what appear to be a handful of, they, they kind of look like marbles or like small pearls. Um, you know, like, think about about the size of your D20. Um, cool. Just for, for like size reference. Um, <clears throat> Them's big pearls. And, and uh, she she's showing them, and as she shows, like, as she, she kind of holds it up uh you you come in right as she's saying something uh something along the lines of like um these are actually really miraculous stones um they're capable of holding a spell that is directed at them um yeah so hmm. she she's showing them and one of the kids is like Ooh, can we see? And so the the lady, um, you see her put the the stone into her left hand, and then she mutters something. It sounds really uh, like it, it sounds like it's very arcane. And then her right hand starts to crackle with electricity, and then she clasps her right hand to her left hand. And the electricity dissipate, dissipates, and then when she removes her right hand, the the pearl is now glowing this electric blue. Um, it's not super bright, but it is glowing. Um, 
and she she kind of holds it up between her fingers to show the kids, and the kids are all like, ooh, ah. kind of deal. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna continue to listen. Um, see what else she start if she explains anything else about it. Um, <laughs> if she... if you don't have lore or anything, that's that's cool. We can gloss over this. Uh, she uh, she then says that uh, you you're able to activate this this pearl um, either just by by drawing on it if you're capable with magic or you can throw it tosses it at um, the the fire and when it lands next to the fire arcs out from it and like hits the log and it tosses one of the logs a little bit wait she threw the pearl at the log and the log moved still kind of in the pile hmm. and then one of the kids rushes over and grabs it hmm. <laughs> okay well does does she not say anything else about it then or not really she doesn't seem to know the origin of it she just kind of has a small handful of them hmm. okay well i i guess i lose interest and just kind of wander off and probably go to bed okay Oh, surrealism. <laughs> yeah. Everybody so, on. <laughs> is anybody else doing anything? Okay. I'm struggling to stay awake. I gotcha. I'm sorry. We might we might call it kind of early tonight. Okay. Honestly, a camp campsite is not a bad place to stop, which would make this a really short session, but it's not bad. Yeah. We didn't do a whole lot, but we made some progress. We had yeah. a lot of fun too. <laughs> we're we're at a circus. Come on. He was pretty great. <laughs> yeah, Kyle Kyle's the freaking tank now. <laughs> <laughs> when your rogue is also your tank. <laughs> Wait, I'm the tank now? <laughs> the true rogue. <laughs> Look at me. I am the tank now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm more of like damage per second. <laughs> How many health yeah, points no, do you have total? Meant to be TPS. What? Rogue What's your max Ranger HP? Take... I think it's like 45 or 50. And I'm the tank. <laughs> yeah, it's 45. Uh, I have 32. Yeah, but I can do a ton of damage. So. Yeah. I'm... I'm a tankish DPS. <laughs> okay, so brave. Are you doing anything? Uh, this is this the morning, or is this still no, night? We're we're still. This is pre-camp, or pre Holy pre crap. time. Holy crap! Brave this is like went to this bed. is like people are going to bed. Oh, brave but... went to bed. Okay. Yeah. Torian, brave are you been in bed. Before you go to bed. <clears throat> Torin is dead. Torin, are you doing anything before you go to bed? Torin. 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 Are you doing anything before Torin goes to bed? Um, how, did did I see the magic marbles? No, only I did. Oh, I mean, you can roll perception. I mean, perception. don't we all think that it would be very in character for Torin to be hanging out with the children? <laughs> Just only if the children had ale. Children. He wa he watched the Punch and Judy puppet show, and then the lady pulled out some magic gems, and he was like, "Cool, I'll watch this too." <laughs> that, that makes sense. I just rolled a fifteen, so. Uh, 
from where you were, you actually were not able to see it. Okay. Oh. What? I was what? I was too busy like playing patty cakes with some kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Hey so kid, you want you some just... ale? <laughs> you just went to bed then. Yep, I'm just going to bed. Okay, cool. So, sadly, we'll call it there, which makes it a, an early night for us, but that's okay. Sorry, dude. No, you're totally good. I understand. Well, it's fun. Yeah, we're oh. going to bed.